Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So if you, uh, sorry. So for today's video, I have another what I eat in a day. Your girl is getting back on to her healthy eating journey. So that means that I will be eating breakfast. Um, I only have about 30, 35 minutes to go ahead and eat breakfast and I gotta do my makeup. I have a Bible study to go to. But I am actually wanting like a hot cup of coffee because it's cold outside today. I got all this congestion and stuff going on. So I feel like a hot cup of coffee would really just like soothe everything. So I'm actually going to make me that. Um, and then I'm probably gonna eat an oatmeal. So yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. I kind of have my lunch planned out. We'll see if it goes to plan accordingly. Um, but. <clears throat> yeah, for breakfast, I plan on, um, I, I started out my morning with the tea because like I said, I have all this congestion and stuff going on. I'm really trying not to drink or take medicine. I did finally give in uh, about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. I finally gave in, took some Tylenol, some allergy medicine, and that kind of like gave me a boost. So I was able to get up and like edit and things like that. This morning I woke up feeling a lot better than I did yesterday, but I still have like some congestion. The only thing that's bothering me is like, I feel like all this pressure behind my eyeballs, like so much pressure behind my eyeballs. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, make me my coffee, make me my oatmeal, and then I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup. <laughs> All right, so you just add one third cup of water to this. This is the one that I wanted. Um, you add one third cup of water. You heat it up for 30 to 45 seconds. I put it in there for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna add 15 more. And then, so waiting on coffee. So I'm gonna put up dishes until all of that's done. All right, you guys, so oatmeal is done. I kind of like mine thick. I don't like it soupy. So, I mean, you could put more water but I kind of like mine thick. And then I bought this glass from Dollar Tree for no other reason than for aesthetic purposes. But I'm gonna go back and buy three more so we have a set of four because I wanna buy like all of their glass dishes like this because I don't know, I think they're cute. So first thing I'm gonna put into my cup are these, I just got these, these collagen fuel vanilla coconut collagen drink mix. So keto certified, non-dairy, whey or soy ingredients, sugar-free. And again, it's just collagen. It's something that I wanted to get into, and so I will post up on the screen like the skin, ben the skin benefits, all the benefits of making sure that you have a, a good amount of collagen in your system. But on here, you know, it says hair, skin, and nail support. Oh, that was a lot. And so, just pour my cup of coffee. Okay. Oh, I didn't waste as much coffee as I thought I was. But I also poured. Uh-oh, I forgot about, forgot about my creamer. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to pour some of that out. Well, I just wasted some of my collagen, but that's okay. Now I know for next time to stop pouring. So right now I'm just mixing in the collagen and then I'm gonna pour about two tablespoons of this. And all right, you guys, this is today's breakfast. So I gotta hurry up because I got like 20 minutes to do my makeup and eat. So I gotta hurry. But yeah, that's breakfast for today, you guys. See you at lunchtime. Okay, so it is lunchtime. It is currently 12.57. I planned on eating at 12.30, but my friend asked me to run an errand for her. So I did that. And then um, actually I planned on eating right at 12 because I already knew that after Bible study, I was going to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up some things to make this thing for the boys room. Wow. That was really big. But for lunch, what we are having is a wrap. I think I already told you guys. So I have these spinach, kale, and chard wraps right here. These are their power greens. And so these only have 60 calories per wrap. And then let's see, only one sugar, nine grams of fiber, that's always awesome. Did I have any protein? Five grams of protein, that's even more awesome. And then I am going to eat some of these savory roasted chicken breast chunks. And so it's three pieces, so I'm probably going to eat about six, depending on how big they are to fill up my wrap. 
And so, so I'll eat a total of 41 grams of protein if I eat six. And then, yeah, everything else is actually not that bad. So, yeah. Um, how much fiber? No fiber, but that's okay. We're going to get all of that wrap. And then, obviously, we are going to put some... Sorry. We're going to put some greens in it. This is going bad, so that's why I wanted to make a wrap today. And then... Um, do I want cheese? The little bit of shredded cheese. And... Then I have this sauce from here. Okay, so I have either this sauce, which is a garlic parmesan sauce, or I have a creamy chipotle kicker. Mm. What do I want? I don't know, I'm craving creamy chipotle kicker, so I'm gonna use that sauce. Okay, so. Go ahead and get to assembling all of this. This is lunch for us. We got a little grilled chicken wrap, a little cola, and some sweet potato chips. That looks so good. So good. Let me know what you guys are having for lunch today. All right, we are back in the kitchen again. I'm about to take my pre-workout so I can work out. My goal was to work out by five, but that's not gonna happen. So hopefully start working out by 5.30. So hopefully I can start working out by 5.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pre-workout. I had ordered groceries for dinner. There was a few things that I needed. Um, I had a random craving for dinner. So I bought the stuff to cook that. Anyways, the point of me saying that was, I got behind because I was putting up the groceries that I ordered for dinner. And then I had to wash the lettuce. And yeah, so I did. I feel like I'm so crooked. And these are not these are not actual real glasses these are my blue light glasses i just think i look cute in them so i keep wearing them so i've been taking my pre-workout like this so about two ounces of water all right hold on baby What's that? it's for mommy to work out and a whole scoop it feels good to be able to work out today because yesterday i was out of it so now I'm gonna have to work out Wednesday, today, tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. Cause usually I'll work out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I forgot to put my ball in there. Hold on. That's why it's leave it alone. It's tree star. It's a tree star? Yeah, it's tree star. It's leave it alone. I'm gonna make tree star tacos. No. No. All right, so we are done with that. So yeah, let me show you the lettuce. So this is what I washed and I found this at the grocery store. I usually use the Young Living veggie, fruit and veggie wash, and I might. I really yeah. wanna buy it, but I'm not paying 50 bucks for two items. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until we get paid and then I'm gonna buy the whole Thieves kit from Young Living just that way I can get their veggie wash. I like it a lot more. Like this one's not terrible, but it's just not the Young Living one. 
so yeah that's probably one of the repurchase that i'll be making but better believe that whenever revive comes out with their fruit and veggie wash i will be making a switch to that because i've already made the switch to their cleaner like household cleaner but yeah so yeah i'm about to work out in about 30 minutes i'm gonna go finish editing and then i'm gonna work out and then i will start cooking dinner and that's when i will see you guys all right you guys back in the kitchen it is seven o'clock and it is dinner time so i'm about to pull out thank you i'm making the asian style lettuce drops with fried rice and egg rolls so let's go ahead and pull out all the ingredients that we need for that this is one of my favorite recipes and one of my favorite things to make that's healthy depending on the style of beef that you buy i always buy 90 10 or 85 15 whenever it comes to beef i buy organic grass-fed beef and so, um, and then you'll need, I'll show you guys what you need, but that's what I make with these. And then again, like the, probably the most unhealthy things that we're eating tonight are going to be the fried rice and the egg rolls. But I've learned that egg rolls don't really have that many calories. I guess it's just like, if you fry them, I oven cook all of my stuff. Like I don't even have an air fryer. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out. And then I will show you guys everything that you need to actually make the Asian style lettuce wraps. All right, you guys, so for the lettuce wraps themselves, what you're going, these are um, these coconut aminos are what Brian likes instead of soy sauce. So that's what Brian likes. And then I got the soy sauce. I got um, the low sodium one. But for the actual lettuce wraps, you'll need a little bit of sesame oil, some Korean barbecue sauce, some peanut sauce. You'll need some shredded carrots. Um, ground beef obviously and then you'll need green onion and then obviously for the lettuce wraps you will need lettuce hence why I had washed and dried all of this right here so now we are going to assemble it and then again everything else I buy is already pre-made so we have chicken egg rolls because we do not eat a lot of pork every once in a while I will slip up and have some pork like bacon or breakfast sausage but Brian does not eat pork at all so we have some chicken egg rolls and then this is the fried rice that I got and again you guys I said this is probably going to be the most unhealthy thing that we eat and at that I'm surprised it doesn't have that much sodium and that there's only 150 calories per cup so yeah we're gonna start um, cooking this also so the Lord has been very good to Brian at his job so he actually he told me like that day that I don't know if you guys saw in my video, but he's like, I want to take you to go get a gift. This is what he got me. He got me some new um, pots and pans. And this is the brand that I wanted for like ever. And so yeah, that's what he got me, you guys. So what you want to start off doing is obviously preheating your pan, and you're just gonna wanna you're gonna wanna put just a little bit of the sesame oil at the bottom of the pan, just a little bit. Not a lot because as you know, sesame oil is really, really strong. Um, I put about maybe a full tablespoon in there. I put maybe a full tablespoon in there because I'm making two pounds of ground beef. And then for the rice, you just need one tablespoon. It says vegetable oil, but if you didn't know, vegetable oil, oil is actually soybean oil, which is actually really bad for you. So I'm going to put two tablespoons about two tablespoons of avocado oil in a skillet to make the vegetable rice. Okay, so the oil is obviously heated up, so we're just gonna add our ground beef. Break it up, obviously. Okay, and now for seasonings, this is just one that I like to use with everything, and it's this um, Fiesta brand fajita seasoning. So we're just gonna toss some of that in there. And one that you actually need for this is ground ginger. And then we're going to add some garlic. This is 
granulated garlic. It's not garlic um, salt. Onion powder. Obviously, you'll do all of this to taste. Because I do not measure. And then we're going to do some black pepper and then a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. So while the meat is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start on the rice. I don't have the meat too high. It's about on medium high heat. So we don't really have to worry about that. And we're just gonna add the rice to the skillet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the rice just so that way the heat can circulate through since I put a ton in here. that all right so for the egg rolls they just have to go in there for about 13 to 15 minutes I'm gonna cook it for 14 so I'm gonna do seven minutes on one side and then turn it off and then flip them and then cook them on the other side for and I have my stove my oven on the quick bake mode which is where the air circulates and cooks it from the inside out kind of like an air fryer Okay, so now that we have our ground beef to this point, okay, so now we're gonna add in our carrots and our green onion. And you can just do this part to your liking. The specific recipe that I got this from actually tells you. But, and it only looks so greasy because of that sesame oil that we put in there, guys. It's not because there's a lot of fat in the meat. It's also that sesame oil. So no need to worry. Again, just to your liking. I put maybe about two cups in there. So it's like two handfuls. And then throw in your green onion and to your liking. I got these green onions at the Asian Food Mart and they grow them organically. So these green onions are huge, way bigger than the ones you get at the store, like the grocery store. So we're just gonna stir this. Oh, it smells so good and I haven't even added the sauces yet. Okay, and now you're going to add in um, you're gonna add in your peanut sauce and your Korean barbecue sauce. And I'm just gonna add the rest of both of those. Again, all of this is to your liking, how saucy you like stuff, things like that, all to your liking. But I didn't have very much of either one left, so. And then we're just gonna turn it down to a low simmer and we're just gonna let those carrots get a little bit soft. And also just to keep it warm while we finish up everything else. So we're turning that down way to low. And your meat is pretty much done. All right, you guys, so back to the rice. I'm just gonna stir it. Okay, and now we're gonna go in and add some of our own seasoning. So just garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and some ginger. All right, you guys, so we're gonna do a little taste test on camera. These are always so hard to pick up and eat. So good. <laughs> Mom, I right. eat drinks. Oh, no, I want it real quick. Then I put a good I get on the bus. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get on the bus today. The rice is good. It's not too strong, but it has like a little flavor, yeah, which is good see. because the meat yeah. is super flavorful. Mm. This is probably my second time trying this Vans brand of egg rolls. What? I don't remember what I thought the first time. Mm -hmm. It's just what they look like. Dang! My arm on one. No. Is it hot? Is it hot, Mom? I drink. I eat drink. Ew. Those are good. Mm -hmm. A plus five star. 10 out of 10 recommend this recipe. Oh my gosh, it was so good, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys, time to satisfy the sweet tooth. 
So I'm going to eat half of one of these because they're ginormous. So, I mean, like, that's like a big cookie. Like, that big. So I'm going to eat half with a little bit of almond milk in my cup. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie, but it's a protein chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Yeah. See guys, this is a ginormous cookie. All right, you guys, so this is our nighttime snack. Half of this cookie, a little bit of milk, because I'm not gonna drink it all. <laughs> all right you guys that is it for this what i eat in a day i hope that you guys enjoyed this let me get my phone so i can tell you exactly how many calories i ate today you guys so total today i ate 1900 calories and i still had 662 calories remaining that's with literally every single thing that i ate today so not bad at all still in a deficit and also super healthy and I almost met my protein goal today. How awesome. I never meet my protein goal. So my goal is 131 grams of protein. I ate 122 grams of protein. <laughs> Ryan. All right, you guys. So for real, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you have not already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.